Good morning, I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Juicy Jones HQ, Orbital Vaping Headquarters. You get light years ahead with vaping with us. And what are we doing today? Today, we are just hanging out. We're gonna build on my Typhoon GT2. Stick around, it's a good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's Vape AM and we're doing our live intro and this is my Typhoon GT. Yeah. There you go, guys. Good morning, I'm Juicy Jones. How's everybody in the audience? I hope you guys are having a great morning. I'm having a pretty good morning. I hope you have a cup of tea and that you're comfortable. Hmm. Because we're going to build on my Typhoon GT2. I'm in the mood for my mouth to lung stuff lately. Always. But I haven't opened up this GT2 and rebuilt it a long time. So I put it on the ultrasonic this morning. I've got some coils from Noob Smith Trainee, which are really cool. He sent me a couple of weeks ago. And we're gonna put them on there together. Everybody in the chat, tell me how you're doing. Say hi, I'm gonna get my chat window up say hello hey taylor jackson robbie everybody caleb will be here in a second pop that out put it over here hope all of you are having a good morning i'm not doing too much here things have been summertime here and in the summer nothing happens so we're basically just cruising along living and uh there's just not that much going on so say hello to chili dog everybody say hi i'm gonna bust out this typhoon we're gonna check it out there's our little coils that we're going to open. You only need a few basic supplies for this. I've got a screwdriver for my Typhoon. This tool's for this atomizer, so your atomizer might have a different tool. A pair of sharp scissors and some cotton. That's really all we need. I'll probably use this little Allen key just to move the cotton around, and you can use tweezers or something like that if you feel like that's what you'd like to do. I got my vape nut stands. <laughs> if you guys don't use vape nut stands, these things are the best. This is 1.2 pounds of solid steel. And uh, I love this thing. And this is a little atomizer stand that I use from Vape Nut that holds your atomizers on. Awesome. They go off and loud. Anyway, I use these things a lot. So first, let's take this thing apart. You guys will like see how this thing is put together. It's kind of cool. I'm going to get to a medium. Today's the orangiest episode of Vape AM ever. I just decided for everything to be orange. Figure why not. Hey, James, Chili Dog, Robert, Moose. Hey, Plobus Sammy Joe, everybody. Good morning, everybody. So, yeah, I'm going to take apart this Typhoon GT2. This thing is heavy. It's tall. I think it's probably easily twice as tall without the drip tip as my, as my Aspire. Not, not quite twice. Not quite twice, rather, but pretty close. Vaping on Ichigo. No, I'm vaping on Zanzibar from Van Gogh Vapes. That's what I'm going to put into the Typhoon as well. So let's take this thing apart. It has a drip tip, obviously. This is my Aspire drip tip that I use for this thing. I love it. Man, is it. That is tight. Er, er, come out. Come out. That thing really doesn't want to come out at all. But it is, believe me. <laughs> there we go. So there's the drip tip I just pulled out of there. What? It was way too big. And this thing assembles in a pretty cool kind of thing. Um, you take the top off. This thing has juice flow control. It's an old atomizer, probably three years old. It's got juice flow control that is just a matter of pushing that cap up and down on there. And then this thing just floats inside the bottom there and makes a seal with the O-ring. It has a piece of glass in it, surrounded by a little cage to keep it from being destroyed, which is good. This comes apart and you can replace this with other various things. It's frosted glass, which is groovy. It's a little bit wet now because it came out of the just a bit ago. Mostly dried out. Here's that top cap in case you're wondering. This is a mouth to lung extraordinaire device. And this is the RTA where the magic happens. As you can see there, there's a juice flow control. So as I screw this thing up and down, it's, it's really simple. It's just the top cap of the RTA. So the RTA has a top cap that unscrews. And as you unscrew it, you get more space right below it in these cutouts in the middle of the cylindrical body to do your actual coils or to put a cotton through. So since this is nice because we're going to be doing, and this just pulls out. It doesn't do it. It's just O-ring pull out that right there. And you adjust the juice flow by screwing this thing in and out. And then you move this thing up. We're going to try to put this thing on the very top here when I put it back together. And then of course it has airflow control and all that. On the bottom, it's got a Phillips head 510 that is not five, that is not hybrid compatible. 
and uh, it's got a ring on the bottom to control the airflow in these five holes. They're arranged in a symmetrical pattern, five on either. Hey, Josh Rhodes. Everybody, hey, Foxhound, all day vapes. Great to see everybody. Y'all have a cup of tea. Mm. Hardcore coffee, I hope. Okay, focus back down to the bottom here. So let's set this up aside, bust out some mini coils. Now, when it comes to these mini coils, I'm going to try to get some of these are parallel, so I may have to pull one of the two coils out of them. But I, I pulled out the container that wasn't parallel. This is a container sent to me by Noob Smith Trainee, which is awesome. Just follow him on Instagram at Noob Smith Trainee. Oh, it's still taped. I was like, why is it wrong with me? What's wrong with this thing? There we go. While I'm at this, I'm actually going to tear off that open. Keep the labels. I don't want to tear off labels. Now, for the bottom side. I'm all set to use these anytime. You guys will remember that we put these in another atomizer into the, I believe it was the Cobra, but it was a different set. Oh yeah, look at these. These are the non-parallels. These are the ones I asked them to send me just for this very purpose. Putting in tiny atomizer. So it looks there like got plenty of wraps. This little baby Nichrome Clapton. Oh yeah. That's gonna be great, right? Six wraps right now. We can do or undo it to our heart's extent here or our heart's desire. There is the typhoon. Vape nut. Our Instagram is vape nut and at vape nut.com. That's vape nut with two T's. This is gonna fit on here pretty nicely. Yeah, these are great. I think I'm going to put in another wrap, actually, because it will be one or two more wraps. Mm -hmm. Particularly prepared now. Cool. Oh, perfect. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put in one more wrap. which comes out to, I believe, a wrap and a half, actually, the way this is. So let's take our screwdriver, screwdriver that down onto that post. Now, typically when you're doing posts like this, these are old K-Fun posts, you'll see how it comes back towards the post there. You want to curve it around a little bit. We're going to curve that around, then screw it down. Then when I do that, the result is going to be that we're going to chop that off. These are really soft and flexible foils because they're little tiny baby Claptons. So I have to put a little bit of tension on them to get them to work. You may have to do the same. All right. This it looks like we're almost in. And they are now stationary. Good. I actually feel like I have the wrong size screwdriver. I have the smaller of my two Phillips head screwdrivers, and I need the larger of it. But it's okay. These screws are pretty small. I don't want to, I mean, relatively small. I don't want to harm them. But. So now we're going to stick this back through and get the one wrap back on it. And on the Fortunately, there's a little kink in that. Oil, which I don't like, but I'm going to try to arrange the kink so it's what's touching the post so that I don't get any miss. Not too worried about where these things are positioned inside here because the truth is, this is a micro coil Clapton old K fund deck. It's only a single coil. So the truth is, 
So this is going to be able to bend quite a bit when we're hard, but I am going to make sure that these coils, the wire is under post. Sorry if I'm obscuring the camera. Put it down kind of finger tight just to start it out. Doing good. Yeah, that's pretty. Fingernail down inside there and push that coil under the. Wrapping coils like this is one of those things that nobody's ever liked. And these K Fun decks are pretty good, but using down pointing screws to make contact on coils around the threads is kind of an annoying thing because. You have to make sure that the pan head screws are always flat underneath. That that way they trap all the coils. So that's why we have modern traps. See, this is a slightly older atomizer. Modern traps work differently. They go through and press down to make contact fire with this however works just fine. But you see how I'm pulling it, create a little tension over here, and that's not that's necessary because we have to create a little tension. Otherwise, these will just pop right off the side or touch the side. I'm just going to pull this up and look at it with my eyeballs. Yeah, I still don't quite like that. I'm using my fingernail just to press against the side of that, and then I'm tightening. Oh, good, and I got a little bit of tension on my fingernail, which is good. I pulled it out. Yeah, good. We're all good. So I'm going to put this little thing through. Just like all builds, what you do is you do it and then you clean it up. So you see how we've got that there? Pull it here. Pretty good. Gotta make sure that everything is in the center between the two posts and that you're not touching it. Those two posts are very important. You're not touching them. And let's grab a pair of shears. Tear off a little bit of the stuff and then we'll get a reading on it. We'll probably get the reading before I do this. I'm going to just go right to the edge of the camera. The hairiness there with our clock. There we go. They're off. So, let me grab the atomizer. I'm in the mod. Duh. Prettify it. Very second. Because we still have to put cotton in. And cotton is going to rearrange things quite a bit here and change the reading on it. I'm going to pull out my... Anakin Oceanus mod and just get a quick ohm reading. Not really the most important part of this process at all. Just have to get an idea. We're at about 0.5. That's just the neighborhood. I wanted it to be a little higher, but I don't. But I'm using a Clapton. So when you're using a Clapton, you're never, you're usually not going to get readings that quite that high out of micro Claptons. Oh, looking pretty good. Okay, now I'm just. Giving it a quick little tiny bit of a dry fire. Just scraping the coils a tiny bit. Just looking at them. Making sure they're not touching on the bottom. It's key that they're not touching the air hole. But you definitely want it to be out of the air hole. Just stretching these up a little bit. They look pretty good. Not too bad. Got some color in there. I'm seeing some hot spots on these. But they're burning up pretty good. I need to turn these way down. They're about 18 watts right now. I'm going to put them back down about 12. It's actually 10 watts, but that'll be fine. Just warming up there. Yep. A little bit of compressed spot in the center there. There we go. Making sure we're over the air hole. Get a fire. It looks like it's burning evenly. It looks pretty darn good. So, there we go. It's about 0.6. Oh, no. What am I saying? Yeah, there we go. It changed. There. We're at about 1.9 ohms. That makes sense. Hey, that seems really low. So we're about 1.9 ohms. Let me screw down those contacts one more time. My screwdriver.
way tight now. If you want this process to be even easier, then space the coils, because that's the jam. I didn't do that, but I certainly could have. I have a little bit of room. I may not have a lot of room on top, and we're about 1.7 ohms, so that's good. So now, take some cotton and put it in there. Let's see. Got some cotton here. This is, I'm using Texas Tough Quick Wicks. This stuff is great. Texas Tough Quick Wicks is, I think, the best stuff to put into RTAs by far. Just a little tiny two and a half inch. So it's going to stretch all over Kingdom. Oh, I got it just right. Did not move. That's good. And the Typhoon GT2 has a slightly strange type of twist. Our trimming mechanism. We're gonna put. We're gonna unscrew the top, where the juice flow control is, and we're gonna lift up these two Goldilocks strands. Then push them through, and get that ring down there on top of the base, and then I'm gonna leave this base. There's this little chamber. I'm gonna leave as long as I can, or as tall as I can, and then pull the two sides of the Typhoon through the holes. And when I do that, I pull it pretty taut. I actually leave just a little bit of a, a hump in there just to get some extra cotton in there, but you really don't need to do much. Just pull it down. So that these loosely fit inside. Oops, sorry, just touched the camera again. Apologize for that, y'all. You guys are tuning in. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Juicy Jones HQ, Orbital Vaping Headquarters, and we're moving light years ahead of other vapors. Right now, we're actually going light years behind. We're looking at a throwback. My old Typhoon GT2, it's about three years old. It's a great device. And it's a mouth to lung device. And I'm just showing the RTA on it and how it works. This is the juice flow control. Now I'm just making sure that there is a, a section here. Every single piece of that is actually obstructed. And then I just screw this little guy down here and in a second we're gonna trim it. Right to the side. No muss, no fuss. Okay, I found my threads. Go screw that down. And I am not, I normally would go all the way, but I'm not gonna go all the way this time. I'm gonna come up a little bit on it. And the reason is, two reasons actually. One, I got a little bit of this outside into the thread, so we're gonna get that out of here. And two, this is a little baby Clapton 1.6, so I wanna just move this about maybe halfway down. I want this to have mostly restricted airflow. It's important to pull down your threads so that they're, it's important to pull down your cotton so that it's not actually caught up in the threads of the Typhoon. So you've seen me here actually get this caught in the threads of the Typhoon, which is cool. Just now what I'm gonna do is open that top up, pull those back down, push them down a little bit further inside there. And in fact, the order of this doesn't matter. When I originally did this, I was taught to cut them now, which is fine. I'll, I'll actually show you how. I don't normally do it afterwards because I like to be able to see where things are. But you see here, I just cut right at the side. Oh no, I pulled it through a little. Bad move, jeans. And you're going to have a little fuzzy nubbin that's into the chamber. That's like a felt tip marker, basically. Picking up your juice. All right, let's. You see now why I like to do it afterwards, and that's because you have a little bit more adjustability if you do it afterwards. But we did just great. We're screwing that down, and we're doing pretty well. It's going to work great.
slightly through with my fingernail. And I'm going to trim it just a little bit just to make it tidier. Because inside this will just be fuzz. You know, just fuzz. And then we're going to put some e-liquid in this. I treat these things quite a bit like a clearomizer, except that with just a lot more pre-soaking. Takes more than five drops. Any of you guys out there in the audience have a typhoon? What's your favorite mouth to lung RTA? A lot of people use avocados. A lot of people use serpents. There are just quite a few. They're good. There aren't that many that are great, actually. This is definitely one of the great ones. My Earl Conigan is another one that's absolutely great. Last in. I'm going to put this up to 18 watts. And I'm going to pulse it. Three. I'm going to pulse it. Just to make sure it's working. May have to go up to 30 watts, huh? Let's try. And now I'm going to screw on the top. And remember, when you build an RTA, guys, when you build an RTA, always remember, just put a little juice in there. Put enough juice in there to cover the bottom. Get the air pressure working so that you are getting good capillary action on it. Don't worry about filling it all the way up so you can see what it's like when it's full. That would be a huge mistake. So in this case, this has a friction fit top. So that is really literally just going to fit inside there, screw down, and then make a, a seal based on how far I pulled up or down that bottom juice flow control. Now it's all screwed in. I'm going to plug in the Drip tip, give it a quick bait. Not enough, baby. Hmm. I think maybe something is wrong and that we have a misfire. I believe there is something wrong. Oh. So I'm going to open this thing back up. The ohm reading is jumping all around. So we're going to open her back up. This is why that you do not put lots and lots of e-liquid into a brand new tank, guys, because you have to open it back up like the next minute and go, hey, what happened? All right, let's take a look at this. Back on. Pop that off. Unscrew the top again. I have to put this aside. Just aside. There we go. Cool. Get a fresh paper towel, obviously. All right. So, That to make sure these are tight. You have to be doubly careful on these old K-Fun ones because it's easy to make misfires, bad connections based on these not being tight enough and the little extra lead poking out in the side and other stuff like that. It's also easy to touch the airflow control, which we are not. Use the cotton <laughs> to pull this. I squeeze the cotton dry. That's right.
feel like our leads and stuff. I'll pull that down, get the cotton back in, put it back on the atomizer and just get another reading. You'll notice this is really just enough cotton to plug this hole. It's really not, really not like a lot of cotton. It's definitely not a lot of cotton sending out into the tank. Definitely. This one I think is going to leak a little. Yeah, I think it is. So I think what we're going to do is redo the cotton. No big deal. All together. We build together. Now normally you take that little side thing off, but at this moment it's fine. Because I am just making sure that we're clearing the air holes and all that. Of course we are. I grab another amount of cotton, which is just the other half of the bundle that I used for this. A little off. Then stick it through there. This then. Because cutting this cotton is tricky. Very easy. As always, I'm having. We do. Too shabby. Use flow control going on there. Turn it down. I don't really, like I said, I don't really use this thing that much. I don't really make the juice flow control like a big thing. The important thing to remember here is that this cap has to be aligned so that these are extending out parallel to the actual little guy. Quite easy if you just look. So now we just cut off a little chunk. Make sure that there's juice flow and try to cut it flush. And if you try to cut it flush, what you're going to get is almost flush. So that's good. And then put your Yeah, back on after you do a little bit of re-wicking or a little bit of re-wetting. Like I said, I treat these things quite a bit like substantially like clear miser coils. And if this thing gets dry, hits too bad, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and loosen up this juice flow control. And if it gets too, if it gets gurgly or wet, which I don't think it's going to, then what I'll do is re-wick entirely using more wicking material. Sorry, I've got fingerprints all over this stuff, guys. That's what it is. So now we're going to put in a very small amount of e-liquid, just like we did a minute ago. Like I said, when you're building an RTAs, working on your builds, don't fill them up. You need to. You only need a few vapes worth of e-liquid, and that's not very much. So you just screw this thing back in the top. It'll align itself. My fingers are super slippery, so that's making it hilarious. Hi, Jinx! Please don't. There we go. Found the thread. <laughs> Could wipe my fingers off, but everything drowned. Yeah, Almighty Elm, I totally decided to do a throwback and rebuild my Typhoon GT2. Like three or four years old. Love this thing. Okay, I got the airflow ring. Deployed. Got my mod. Right here. Served in e-liquid grease. This is great. Wait. Blast from the past. For about 30 watts, what's it gonna do? Uh, let's see what reading we get on this. Turn it off. It looks like it's always about 0.3 now, so that sounds like 19 watts. Yeah, that's burnt. So, to me, it feels like it's not quite working yet. Not quite. Maybe it needs like, I find it pretty good in the middle.
The Typhoon is great. It has like so much control over all the various stuff that you're doing. Hey Eric, thanks. I'm <laughs> looking fake. Tater Jackson, my favorite sub bomb tank. Or lately, it's probably the Scion, I guess, for Minikin. Lately. Yeah, we're getting a short. Yeah, getting a short. So we gotta take it apart again. This is why people switch to other tanks. All right, let's see where this short is. We'll see where you are, sir. Could be a piece touching another piece. Throw this on the captain. I'm vaping on the AS Vape Cobra right now. It's really good. That was my last episode. It was just me playing around with that. I had to put a new coil in it finally after a month, which is really good. Pretty good. All right. No atomizer. Yeah, something's wrong. So oh, that's cool. I've taken off the side and the rim and everything. And it says no atomizer. So that tells me that I've got a bad connection. Oh, I have a broken Clapton. Broken Clapton. Yeah, look, guys. This happens. You see it? He's broken. So we have to start over on the coil anyway. Put another one on. We were so close. This is what happens with delicate little Claptons. Sometimes. Always. But do you remember when I told you I saw a little crease in the Clapton on that spot? That's exactly where it broke. So this is these are too fine to be able to play with in that fashion. I'm going to grab this and put it on here and put an extra wrap or two on it, just like we talked about. Let's see, grab my screwdriver. Up. Pull it around the post. A little bit of trouble because this thing is so floppy. Soft and squishy. This is a little Nichrome 80 micro Clapton 38 single core with a 40 wrapped around it. Soft. Actually, what I'm going to do is this way directly. Use your gift of dexterity, Juicy. I will. That's what I'm doing right now, finally. Another thing I don't like about this is that when you're twisting the threads. Oh, I guess I could twist that around the other side, couldn't I? It's up to me. Okay, so other one. Came out, didn't it? Okay, that's tight. That's tight. That and move it around a little bit and look at it before I trim it. Looks like we're at about 0.46 for some reason, which is gonna go down. I'm gonna grab my pliers. They're here somewhere. Didn't we just use them together? Yes, we did. 12 watts here. Pulsing it. Okay. 
Now we're good. Oh. Let's see. There we go. Blue and silver. They look pretty good now. Okay, so I can chop them off a little bit here. I didn't want to make a prediction about get our first short. Yeah. We're still at 12 and a half. What? Almost 13. The ohm rating correct now at one point. Okay, now this should change quite a bit and go lower when I put on cotton. Oh, Chris, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Oh, your girlfriend isn't feeling well. Bizarre that you have time to watch this. The viewers from all over the world on this channel and leave wonderful UK. Okay, there is some cotton. And now I'm going to unscrew the juice flow control cap again. Maybe wipe it off a little bit this time. Do 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 hey David Leon. Great to see you. All right, we pull these guys up, feed this through. Green tea said that on there, perpendicular, juice roll holes, move them. Make sure your cotton is straight and well aligned. Screw the top back down. After you've cleaned some of the threaded cotton out of the threads that you had in there when you unscrewed it last time. Yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jamie Glazer, everybody. Yeah, just tuned in to Meet Like Juicy Jones, and I'm just doing a throwback show today. I found, not found, but I've been wanting to build on my old Typhoon forever. My Typhoon GT2, and I had Noob Smith Trainee send me some baby Claptons, and it's pretty damn cool. They were putting them in. This is one of the best single coil flavor atomizers that there ever was. Fun. Making sure everything is. Takes a little bit of trouble to build. Kind of a pain. Welcome to the Typhoon. I certainly don't recommend these to people new, although I must say that if you like Mount to Long and you don't mind the slight weight increase of these, they are pretty heavy. Because it's kind of old. It's like old school steel, kind of like the Kabuki. Doing it all 11 watt pulses. Ooh, that smells good. This is Anzabar from Van Gogh Vapes. If you use Van Gogh Vapes, make sure you use the code Juicy Jones HQ because they'll give you a discount. Okay. So now, trim that little guy off. Trim his little sister off over here. Get the lid back on. Have trimmed prematurely, but like Michaela says, she likes single do big single coil fans. So when you screw this on here, if you're gonna do it all the way, you just gotta make sure that you hold this thing. Because remember that this round thing, the dome, is not fixed to anything. It's only friction fit right on top of there. Uh like really how much. Cotton. 
to trim off both sides. You don't really need any cotton at all sticking out to be flush, but there's always going to be just a tiny bit, and it's just fine. You don't need any sticking out. But you do want it to be filling that hole completely. All right, so let's put the top on here, and let's see if we don't get fewer errors this time. Now that our coal isn't broken anymore. That last one just snapped right off. Fill at 1.2, 12 watts, see what happens up on top. Mm. Oh yeah, now, I need to put a little e-liquid in here. Turn it up to maybe 15 watts. This was top fill way before that was popular. Although still, you can't put that much e-liquid in it. You can only fill it up to the top of the thing. Oh yeah. And actually, they never intended for you to top fill this thing yourself. If you really want to fill it up, you screw it from the bottom, like all old atomizers. I'm not gonna do that. That unfortunately out of the RTA. Okay. Hmm. Yummy. Yummy. This is great. Yeah, the Typhoon is one of the best single coil RTAs that there is. As of today's standards, though, this thing really doesn't add up. Compared to like a Serpent, this thing is about 500 times harder to build on, as you guys just saw. There's all kinds of little fiddly willies to worry about, all kinds of little screws and stuff to worry about. And the flavor on this thing is great. It's fantastic. But I'm not sure I would recommend everyone go out and grab one. I love mine, though. I think it's great. I think that if you're interested in curios or if you want something that's authentic and kind of older, or maybe even if you're buying one of the later clones, then things are very, very interesting. Don't actually have to. And see here, the way this works, you pull the entire bottom out. After we're finished, then we can fill it up that way. I'll show you. you just don't fill up over the overflow hole. This thing is all full of limits. Tons of limits all over it. Putting some of this Zanzibar in there. Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Oh, chocolate coconut macaroon. This stuff is so delicious. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Back in there. Put the airflow ring back on. Airflow. Then find an atomizer. Find a mod. And vape. These are our little tails. Our cotton. That we thank you, Texas Tough, and thank you, Van Gogh, for sending all kinds of stuff for us to use to test things on the channel. Not that our research would end. Wipe this off a little. Just a little bit. Yeah, not bad. God, can you hear the outside? It's like really noisy. Damn, that is good. It's so satisfying. This is really a great atomizer. Got a big, long, tall top chimney with a big, it's all restricted all the way down, 5, 10 size to the top. I'm using my, my um, fire Nautilus drip tip on this thing, which is great. I love these. Hey, Josh, how are you? Josh made it. How are you, buddy? He's been busy and vacationing. I was just saying at the beginning of the show, by the way, if you just tuned in, I'm Juicy Jones. This is Juicy Jones HQ, Orbital Vaping Headquarters. You're getting light years ahead, and you're vaping with us and the vape fam. I was just saying at the beginning of the show that it's summertime, and no one's doing anything. And so I'm barely, I mean, we're just running around doing all kinds of outdoor stuff, doing house stuff, everything. So things like vaping and doing reviews and getting new atomizers and that kind of stuff, it's just on a little bit of time, but... 
everybody that way. It's that way last summer, summer before, always. And Vaporflow with Sammy Joe says she wants to try the coconut flavor. One guy says it sounds like a coil killer. It's not a coil killer. Van Gogh doesn't really have coil killers. But out of Van Gogh's vapes, this one is the most coil killer-y one. Not very much still, but yeah. Oh, and Leighton's talking about the eclipse. It was rad. It was so rad. We went over down here to the um, to the park and watched the whole eclipse. And I hope you guys noticed on the ground, you can see all the shadows of everything. Had a little, they were crescent-shaped, and that only happens during an eclipse. Hmm. Hmm. Josh says he wants to do more broadcast. Josh, you're welcome on every week if you want. <laughs> Just let me know. You can go on all the time. Uh, Robert Miller, do I have the VCMT? No, I don't have that one. I remember it well, though. VCMT was part of a generation of thanks. It was very good. Very good. Yeah, and Sammy Joe just reminded me that cannoli from Van Gogh is also really good. This is so good. Yeah. Talk about great taste. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love this. I'm so excited. This is great. The problem with this thing is that it's heavy as hell. I mean, really heavy. This is like one of those things for people who think that like heavy stuff is better automatically. True. Hey, Dadalus, great to see you. Yeah, this thing is great. It works absolutely fantastic. This is one of my best atomizers. It works whether you drop it or not. The juice flow control stays where it is inside the thing, even though to control it, you have to open it up. But... It works quite a bit, but I mean, some people have good juice flow control with the dials, and I've seen some good examples of how that works, like with Smock. But I have not seen, but I've also seen tons of examples of it working very, very badly, like the Hurricane. So that's that's not always, it's not always the best thing. I like this. Yum. Yeah, that's really great. So long story short, little baby Claptons and your sing old single coil atomizers are freaking awesome. This one came out to about 1.5, but 19 watts. This is going to vape super great, and the battery is going to last a long time. Mm. It's so good. Tasty. Ah. So how is everybody? What's going on down out there in internet land? You guys talk to me. Been here for about, ooh, about 50 minutes. We're gonna have to go here in a few minutes. Uh, tell me what's up, tell me what's going on. We got about 10 more minutes here. Oh, my nose, this got my nose. Now I'm, oh, I think my nose, I'm gonna sneeze. I don't wanna sneeze. Paper Flow with Sammy Joe's talking about how she's got her house there where she's going to stay until she, until her life ends. We pretty much plan, we plan on taking a few diversions, but this is where we are too. Seattle, Washington, where we're going to end up. I'm pretty sure. I'd like to retire in Malta. If anybody knows anything about Malta, send me an email. Ah. Uh, Vapor flow with Sammy Joe. I was uh, she's asking about questions about how to do the broadcast and stuff. Start with OBS, and if OBS works for you, and you need the features from XSplit, then try that. But OBS will work. And I actually got an email from someone the other day who was doing a cool thing channel who asked me about how I did this and how this is all going on. I told her, <laughs> pretty fun, pretty interesting. Wanted to get her quilting channel going, which I think. Oh, I just realized that my typhoon has a little tiny dent in it. Look at that. You see a little tiny dent. For all these years, how about that? 
Oh, and Taylor Jackson said he finally got his mom to stop smoking and to start vaping. And that is great. We'll see her here on the show. That's great. We're going to be here Saturday morning. I love all you guys. Stick around in the chat. I'm going to chat with you just for a couple of more minutes. These are great. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. If you like these videos, be sure to click on like and click on the subscribe button. Tell all your friends and share these. And uh, I'll see you guys again on Saturday. We're live twice a week. Thanks.